Hey guys, uh, I promised, uh, I think in one of my other videos, that I would show you my new setup in the backyard for testing out hammocks and just hanging out in the hammocks. I'm using uh, a camera that's new to me. Uh, it's a camera that Rob at Backpacking Adventures and Shug both highly recommend. So I picked one up on eBay. It's the Canon PowerShot Elf 110 HS. <clears throat> it's my first time <clears throat> using it for filming myself by holding it so hopefully I've got it in a good spot but I'm gonna flip it around and uh, show you my setup out here right now um, one thing I discovered with this camera is that it can only record 10 minutes of HD before it stops recording so I've got to be conscious of only making clips that are less than 10 minutes with this thing so here we go for a tour uh, of my current setup in the back here So I'll give you an overview shot. Um, I had these two cedar posts put in. Uh, they're actually just logs. Um, by a local company, Bone Steels Gardening. They did a real good job with it. Um, they're about 15 feet apart, give or take. Just a, just a little bit under. Um, I did that so I could, could do uh, the super fly in there. And have enough room on either end to, to work with moving it back and forth and whatnot and I've got so that's that's the superfly there in porch mode uh, I'm using a and I'll take in for a closer look in a sec but I'm using a Dutch wear gear um, continuous ridgeline kit with Tato tarp connectors right now but um, I'm, I'm gonna get rid of the Tato tarp connectors and I'll explain that in a bit I'm also uh, so I'm, I'm up in porch mode that's the war bonnet superfly um, I've got black diamond um, trek poles here going on that are doing the porch mode. Um, my staking method for my tie outs, I'm just using oh, aluminum Y stakes that I got. I think I got those from Brandon at Warbonnet. Um, Lash it, zing it, whatever the yellow stuff is called. Dutch's hookworm on all tarp corners I've got a hookworm and this is a six inch piece of shot cord um, just tied into a loop I have uh, dog bones on my pullouts because I do do the pull mod um, for the superfly as well I just don't have it going on I don't think you really need it in porch mode um, so I didn't I didn't do it for today uh, over here we've got the Dutch's cinch bugs going on to a continuous loop to Dutch's netless 11 foot argon hammock with a structural ridge line. These are mountain goat, I think, I think that's her name, I forget. Um, you can find her on the hammock forums, snake skins. Uh, those are great for the tarp. Right here is your Tato tarp connector. Uh, I'm getting rid of that. I don't know if you can see this, but it's... Uh, you probably can't. It's it, They start to chew up the line. And um, you have to leave quite a bit of slack in the line in order to get them over themselves the way they're supposed to lock in. And I'm just finding that really difficult to, uh, to do. And, you know, then I want... Then my tarp isn't tight enough, and then I got to go back and re cinch the tarp, and then it shifts everything in one direction. So um, I've started to switch out. So we'll go under here. That's just the double ended stuff sack that, that comes with Dutch's hammock. I've switched out to. On this side now, I'm gonna have to take the ridge line kit off and whatnot to take these Tato tarp connectors because they run through the line. So I'm gonna to take this whole thing down in order to get them off. But I've switched to uh, that's a Dutch ridge line beaner um, and a prusik knot over here, and so I think that'll work fine um, for that. And then you know, around back, I'm staked out. Same setup. 
shot cord, hookworm, flash it, zing it, a little mistake. There's Odin, enjoying the backyard. So yeah, this is I, I, I'm gonna I like have I've, I've only had this out here a couple days, only used it a couple times, and it's it's um, it's great because I don't have any trees here that are I've got lots of trees, but I don't have any trees that are properly spaced for me to do hammocks, and now I can you know I'm still learning how to get everything adjusted correctly, especially the hammock you know the ridge line tension in the hammock and whatnot it's a real big thing for me and moving them up and down and um so i'm you just got to get out and do it and try it enough times to to get it uh, comfortable with it so you recognize um what's comfortable for you and whatnot so that's what i'm going to be doing out here um plus a lot of relaxing in the hammock i also have the uh, franke style bug net from dutch that'll go over that uh hammock and uh that works out pretty well it's been so hot here that I haven't even really needed an underquilt or a top quilt for that matter. I've just been laying out in the in the hammock. So I think that's it. Uh, we'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching.